This is number 79 for 6.3. Forces with magnitudes of 125 newtons and 300 newtons act on a hook, like here in this picture. The angle between the two forces is 45 degrees. Find the direction and magnitude of the resultant of these forces. So the hint that it gives in the book is write the vector representing each force in component form, then add the vectors together. So again, we're trying to find the direction and magnitude. So let's take a look at 300 newtons. So one way to look at that is let's look at component form as they said. So it's going in this direction here along the x-axis. So that is 300, 0. Then this one, uh, we know that the magnitude, let's call that V, is 125. And we know that the theta is, 100 and, uh, is 45 degrees here. And then this theta is 0 degrees. So if we write this vector here, let's call this u. u is 300. We can write that as either u equals 300i plus 0j, right? Because there's no vertical there. And so you can write it in that form as well. So let's write v first. So V equals, and we need to remember to use this formula, cos magnitude of cosine, magnitude of V times the cosine of theta times I plus the magnitude of V sine of theta J. So we can plug in what we know. So the magnitude of V is 125. That is cosine of 45 degrees I plus 125 sine of 45 degrees J. We can simplify that to 125 root 2 over 2. I plus 125 root 2 over 2 J. So that is V. And then for you, it's just 300 I, right? There's nothing there. The magnitude is 300 here. And then if we think about it, a cosine of this is at zero degrees, that is just one, right? So that's why it is just 300 I. And then sine of zero is zero. So that's why we have U of 300 I. So in order to find the resultant vector, we're going to add U plus V. So that is going to be 125 root 2 over 2 plus 300, and that's our vertical component I, plus 125 times root 2 over 2 and uh, plus 0, so that doesn't change anything. So if we simplify that with just numbers, we know that this becomes 300 not 300, it becomes a total of 388.39 and 88.39. Sorry, this is the J here. Okay, so that is the component form of the two, for, uh, two forces. And so this is our resultant vector. And so we want to find the magnitude. So uv equals the square root of 388.39 squared plus 88.39 squared. And so when you plug that in, that should be approximately 398.32 newtons. Of course, it may be off by you know a couple decimal places. Um, it just depends on what you plug in. Then we need to find the angle. So this is the magnitude. And so now let us find the angle. And remember with the angle, we're using tangent of theta. So tangent of theta is B over A. So this is 88.39 over 388.39. And then what you'll find that that angle, theta, is going to be approximately 12.8 degrees. 12.8 degrees is somewhere in here. And so that makes sense that it is 12.8 degrees.
Now this example is just very similar to the other one. So we can call this one, I'm just gonna get you started on this one and then hopefully you can finish it out. So this is V and let's call this U. So the magnitude of V here is 2000 newtons and the magnitude of U here is 900 newtons. And the theta is going to be 30 degrees for V. Uh, so I just named it that. And then the uh, angle for U is going to be negative 45. And go ahead and use negative 45. That is fine. So then you write uh, the vector equals the magnitude times cosine sine. So this is going to be 2,000 times cosine of 30 degrees I plus 2,000 sine of 30 degrees J, and then U will equal 900 times cosine of negative 45 degrees I plus 900 sine of negative 45 degrees J. And then you simplify. Uh, so cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2 and 1 half I'm sorry, sine of 30 is a half. Cosine of negative 45, that's still positive root 2 over 2. Sine of negative 45, remember, that's a negative root 2 over 2. And so you can simplify. Uh, so we know V is going to be 1,000 root 3i plus 1,000 uh, j. And U will be 450 root 2i or minus, this is minus, minus 450 root 2j. And then add the vectors together, find the magnitude. And so, you know, write that out, please. And then if you want the final answer, that will be 2,396.2 newtons. And then remember to find theta. Theta will be 8.7 degrees.